So there's obviously certain bots that are going to be in the batch regardless. So we know Twin Twist and Coella 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 Gun Coella Gun. Someone needs to tell me how to pronounce that because I ain't got a clue. So Coella Gun. That's how he's getting it. Coella Gun. That's what he's getting called for now. So Twin Twist and Coella Gun are definitely uh, in the batch. We know that already. Uh, Skids and Knockout will be in the batch. So, going off them two, you know, that's not a bad start to the batch. You know, I don't think Skids and Knockout are awful. I don't think they're great, though. But it depends on what combos are going to come out and what fire damage and what acid damage. But the next question there is what's going to be the community choice? So, I know what my community choice is. My community choice is Hound and Drag Strip, the same as it was last time. I still think it's really good. I think that, you know, it's just really good against resource buildings. I think with HU18 dropping, there's going to be a lot of time traps. You need to get through bases quickly. We've got bots like Strafe that will target defenses particularly. Um, and I think we could do more of them maybe. You know, you know, Hound Vamp maybe. And bots like that might come back into the meta maybe. But, you know, we haven't got many bots that do good damage against just resource buildings. And that does help. Because people put resource buildings at awkward places within the time traps because they know that people aren't going to take them out because people would rather take defenses out and that just slows your bots down so you know they can be a you know how can be useful you know and uh you know just did sort of some quick maths so uh, at the minute it's about 4200 damage uh which is not quite enough to take out a build bot it's just a bit short so the five star version i imagine will do about 4900 damage which is enough to take out a build bot at this level. But that's with his G1 core as well, guys. Not a volatile mixture as well. So I still think how needs a slight buff for kids with five star. I think the four star should be able to take out build bots for the cost of it with a, with one ability. I really do. But and then obviously the more clumped they are, the easier to take it, they will take out. But I really do think it just needs like a, a extra 100, 200 damage uh, so it can one shot the uh, a build bot. Uh, but yeah, against uh, you know resource building is absolutely amazing. Uh, but the big question for me was: Is a build bot a resource building? They're not a defense, are they? But you know that was the big thing. Um, but apparently not. Uh, but then that leads on that obviously does double damage towards resource buildings, and that's nine thousand eight hundred damage to resource buildings. So he'll one shot all the harvesters. I mean the harvesters, quite low health, uh, three thousand nine hundred, even at an extra. 20% health, you know, it's still getting nowhere near. You're still talking about 4,700 health uh, with extra 20% uh, with hard mode. And then with the HQ 18 upgrade, it's still talking maybe 6,000. So, how will one shot these? Even as a four star, quite easily. Uh, these resource buildings, 6,400. And he will easy one shot all these at 9,800. So, I would love a five star hound. And people forget how actual. Um, how far he actually goes. And this is me sort of campaigning a bit for uh, how good Hound is. So, dropping Hound right back here, and you can see that he's got crazy range. Look, his range is like half the size of the map. You're talking similar to Sea Spray. You know, you can put Glitch on this guy, he can stay well back, and he can still take out, you know, defenses from miles away. Just him in this corner here, he could either take out these defenses here, helping your Titan attack the HQ maybe. But yeah. Crazy, crazy good bot. Honestly, love this bot. I think he's absolutely amazing. You got to think as well, he's hollows at ability 10, just hollows. But ability 11, it is fire damage. So those that combo like slingshot, things like that. Um, so yeah, the fire damage will do 20% extra uh, or whatever it is extra under certain other abilities to combo. So really good bot to combo, really good range. I wouldn't say he's cheap to use, especially in his first use, but uh, yeah, a really, really good bot. But I don't think he'll get voted in. I think he'll be second or third. I think the bot will get chosen is Afterbreaker, sadly. And I don't see why, and I said this in my last video, that we don't need a five-star Afterbreaker. You know, a four-star Afterbreaker will do the job. I did a video a while back um, of a three-star after breaker, sorry, I got something in my eye. Sorry, guys. Uh, a three star after breaker at like 51 1. And in Prime League, he popped all the outposts. And uh, yes, he died quite quickly. And people were like, yeah, but he died. Yeah, but let's be honest, it's a sack bot. When you use Goldfire, 
you use him, he dies, it's fine, doesn't matter. When you use Rhinox, it does damage, he pops the outpost, he dies. Sac is sacrifice. You are sacrificing that bot, but as long as it does its job. And any sort of level after break can do it. So if you've got a maxed out four star, it is more than enough, does very well doing a sack. I don't agree with it the way it works. I think it's massively overpowered as it is as a four star. So I think bringing it out as a five star is just ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous that it's just too overpowered to bring it out. And I think it's ridiculous that it's, you know, people even voting for it, we don't even need it. It's just a waste for me as a, as a five star. You know, you might as well vote for a five star nose comb. You might as well. For the other reason that it's just useless, what's the point? You no, know, the four star useless, it's not going to get a rework probably, but hey, maybe it will. We've been waiting three years for it or something. Uh, but yeah, I think after Breaker and Flame War, we'll get voted in. I really do as a community choice, sadly. But that leaves, you've got a Warrior, you've got a Gunner, you've got a special class bot. So, what will be next? For me, I really think that Tex is going to get his dream come true. I think we will see Air Raid and Slipstream. I think the reason for that is... That when they start doing these combat, they're sort of edging closer. You know, you got to think, why did they put Strafe in the last batch? It wasn't just because they put Strafe in. They want some more Computron bots out. Now, we've got After Breaker coming out. So, you know, we've got a Computron bot there. So, you know, a lot of the uh, Decepticons have got more Decepticons out there as part of Combiners than the Autobots have. We've got to sort of catch up a bit. Really, we're lacking a bit. So, I think we'll find a few bots like After Breaker and Flame War and Air Raid and Slipstream where... The Decepticon counterpart isn't a combiner. I think we might see some of them. And I know some of the, com the uh, cons will complain, saying, well, it's not really fair because yours is more of a combiner batch than ours. Um, but I think, I really do think that we're sort of playing catch up, really. You know, they've been lucky in a way to have more bots, you know, as combiner parts already. You know, Bruticus is pretty much nearly complete. Uh, and I think so too is Menasaur, pretty much. So they're a lot more further forward than us in terms of combiners. Um, but yeah, so I think Air Raid and Slipstream will come into the game. I think we need an air bot in the game. There's not many good air bots. But I think uh, when we're talking about combos as well, you know, you've got to think air bots that combo. Air Raid's probably one of the, the early ones that sort of uh, comes to mind. And I think we obviously need an air bot in there at some point. There was two air bots in the last, um, in the last batch. But I, uh, I really think we'll see uh, air raid, something like 6k damage in an area, you know, crazy, crazy damage. And uh, I think we're really good by HO18, you know, he was on, uh, he was on Texas list, wasn't on mine. I did consider him, but I think it'd be a really good addition. And it's uh, obviously good buy the piece. So yeah. And then the fifth choice, I think they'll actually put Hound and Drag Strip in. I really do. Every, everywhere you go, everyone's going Hound and Drag Strip, Hound and Drag Strip, Hound and Drag Strip. So I think a lot of the higher level players want Hound or Drag Strip in the great game. But I understand a lot of the lower level players or mid players that do a lot of sack and stuff are looking for the easiest, cheapest options to sack. And say they like Afterbreaker. You know, you don't see Afterbreaker in a lot of top, top wars. Um, but you do see some players using it still. So, makes you think. I still think we'll see Hound and Drag Strip in there. I really do. So, my predictions for the next 5-star batch are Twin Twist and Quelagon, uh, Skids and Knockout, Afterbreaker and Flame War, Air Raid and Slipstream, and Hound and Dragstrip. So, let me know if you agree. Let me know in the comments. 